All right, that was Rajendra Pal's reaction. He is a Delhi minister, Aam Aadmi Party leader who has resigned after he was spotted at that huge anti-conversion rally that was held at the Ambedkar Bhavan on the 5th of October. That's got him much flack. Arvind Kejwal himself, the Delhi chief minister, wasn't very happy with Rajendra Pal participating in this uh, conversion drive. In fact, Aam Aadmi Party now in the in a spot after Rajendra Pal has appear in that video very seemingly appears to take an oath against um, all Hindu gods saying that I will not worship Hindu gods. They were mass conversion that was carried out to Buddhism. Delhi Minister Rajendra Pal now resigns from the cabinet following his controversial oath that sparked huge controversy. After tendering his resignation, in fact, uh, we believe that his resignation was cleared by Abadi Party Chief Arvind K. Jival. Uh, in fact, they have really, they, what Rajendra Pal says, that he has nothing to do with that event that he attended. He was just part of it. Remember, the former minister attended Vishal Dash, uh, Damdishka Samro event, which was organized by the Buddhist Society of India on 5th of October, where thousands of people present there took an oath not to worship Ram, uh, Lord Ram, Lord Krishna, and even other Hindu gods. They said that they will move away from Hinduism and take up and follow Buddhism. Sources have told India today that Kejriwal, who is wooing the voters in Gujarat and eyeing the upcoming elections in the home state of the Prime Minister, were very angry with Rajendra Pal's involvement in this conversion drive. The resignation comes after BJP's continuous attacks on the Amadmi Party. The Saffron Party called it an insult to Hindu gods and also filed a complaint against our Rajendra. The party has also placed Kejriwal in the skull cap posters in many cities of Gujarat. बड़ोदरा की जनता का गुस्सा गुजरात का आक्रोश और जिस प्रकार से उनको कल भागना पड़ा बड़ोदरा से उसका ये परिणाम है कि आज वापस आते ही दिल्ली तुरंत राजेंद्र पाल गौतम का इस्तीफा हुआ है मैं फिर से ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि ये गुजरात की जनता की जीत है ये हिंदू समाज की जीत है and uh, Rajendra Pal was caught on camera violating the constitution, the oath he is under as uh, a minister. He was seen as promoting enmity between uh, communities. He was seen as uh, driving a wedge between uh, communities. His entire oath was completely loaded against a particular community. It was in very bad taste and clearly at this point in time, Arvind Kejriwal could not have afforded it. But the truth is that people like uh, Rajendra Pal are manifestations of what Arvind K. Jival's politics is all about. And Arvind K. Jival cannot um, distance himself from what Rajendra Pal has done. The very important thing is that he has given us the support of the Mantri. We have such a pratit that the Mukhya Mantri has understood that and has given us the support of the Mantri. I have given us the support of the Mantri. मुख्य मंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद दूंगा बधाई दूंगा और मैं आशा व्यक्त करूंगा कि फिर भविष्य में इस प्रकार की कोई भी इनके पार्टी से हिंदू सनातन धर्म के खिलाफ आपत्तिजनक शब्द या आपत्तिजनक बयान न देंगे and do you think this will really salvage the situation at this moment for the Abadi party who seem to have lost face in a state like Gujarat where, where, where the BJP has been uh, coming down heavy saying the Abadi party is against Hindus and this anti-Hindu oath speaks for itself. Rajendra Pal resigns. Will that do good to the Abadi party now? Well, certainly there will be some uh, steam uh, that the Ahmadmi Party will now lose to hope as far as this particular resignation is concerned. The Ahmadmi Party, especially the top leadership of the Ahmadmi Party, uh, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, according to sources, was not very happy, but he was furious uh, as far as that particular participation of Rajendra Pal Gautam in that uh, meeting is concerned, in that event is concerned. And after that, uh, it gave uh, the Bharti Janta Party fresh ammunition to target the Ahmadmi Party, to target uh, and tarnish its image as far as the upcoming polls in Gujarat is concerned. Now the 
fear in the Ahmadni party is also that whether the damage has already been done as far as the ground is concerned because while the Bharati Janata Party was initially demanding the resignation, in fact, sacking of uh, Rajendra Pal Gautam, now that he has tendered resignation, the BJP, in fact, has taken a U-turn and is saying that now the, uh, the, the Ahmadni Party chief, Arvind Kejriwal, should also resign as far as uh, that particular incident is concerned, that event is concerned, because now the Bharati Janata Party is stating that whatever Rajendra Pal Gautam was just a manifestation of what Arvind Kejriwal has been teaching as far as the politics, uh, the brand politics is concerned of the Ahmadmi party. Now this resignation certainly will give some hope to the Ahmadmi party to go to the ground and say that uh, the person who was involved in that particular incident uh, has in fact left the party. However, uh, the Bharati Janata party is not likely to lose this, uh, this opportunity to attack the Ahmadmi party on the ground that it is anti-Hindu. A claim that the BJP has been making, despite the claims by Rajendra Pal Gautam, uh, despite his statement that the, the, the speech uh, or rather the pledges that he uh, took there or the, the pledges that people took there uh, during the conversion drive, uh, those were the 22 pledges that have been historically taken uh, as far as the conversion to Buddhism right. is concerned. You know, of course his justification, uh, but at the end of it he is now tenders his resignation. Will that really help Abadi party in a state like Gujarat where we see posters like that? Arvind Kejriwal seen in a skull cap, many of those posters there adorning areas in Gujarat where Arun Kejriwal has been campaigning hectically for his party. Thank you very much, Akshay, for joining us.